guys, what's up? It is Mr. Electronics here, and this is my review of the Samsung 14-inch notebook. I have it right here in my hands, and I'm really excited to show you guys some key things that I love about it. I've been working with it for just about a week now, and uh, I guess, you know, let's just dive right into it. Um, the first thing you see is their very slim power adapter. It's great for uh, just plugging it right into the wall. It's, it's really thin, I think even thinner than most uh, laptop power adapters. If you look just to the right here, uh, you're going to see that very slim Cat5 uh, Ethernet jack. They've built it in, even though most people have gotten rid of it in notebooks this slim, they've decided to keep it in there. It just pops down like that and you can plug it right in. So there's no problem there doing a hard wire for your home network. Um, if you're not, if you don't have uh, wireless access available. If you keep looking right here, we do have USB 3.0 ports, um, which is really great because that's where everything is going these days. USB 3.0 um, is taking over, so you get that extra high speed uh, transfer when you need it. Um, our two display uh, adapters here are a VGA and HDMI. Um, I do am running dual monitors on my home. Uh, I'm actually using these two screens right back here from the laptop to do some editing and stuff. So that's really nice. Uh, we have a uh, headphone jack, which is not that big of a deal. It's pretty standard. On the flip side, we do have a uh, really slim CD drive. They fit that really nice into the, into the side of the computer. I did not think that most computers getting this thin um, are going to be missing out on the CD drive, but it is in there. We have another USB 2.0. Uh, port, so um, just an extra, I use it for wireless mouse, um, you can use it for whatever. There is also a uh, SD card slot, so if you're transferring photos, um, any other media like that, you shouldn't have any problems with uh, that. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look um, under the hood. The first thing I notice when I turn pop this baby on is that it acts like a solid state computer. Um, a lot of computers like the MacBook Air um, and other computers are going solid state uh, to to create for fast performance. This is not a solid state hard drive. This is just a basic 500 gig uh, regular uh, hard disk drive. But it 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 comes on and off like no other computer I have seen. So uh, you will enjoy that very fast boot up time. Even when it's in sleep, it's really fast. Even from uh, startup, a regular boot up it is really fast. Just going into a little bit into the design, I know that was in the power. We have, like I said, that nice Duraluminum design. So you have that nice aluminum design that's just like the MacBook Pro. So you MacBook Pro users, if you're looking for a Windows PC on top of your MacBook Pro to do some Windows things, things that Windows does a little bit better, then you'll be loving that, uh, that design. Uh, the keys are really nice. Uh, they, they don't feel flat at all. I've had no trouble typing. Uh, projects and things on it, so you won't have any uh, find any faults there. Let's just go back into the power just a little bit more. A couple things I found: the specs on this computer. This is a 2.7 uh, gigahertz uh, Core i5 processor, Turbo Boost to 3.0 um, gigahertz, and it has 8 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, it also has, uh, it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card. The next model up had a dedicated graphics card as well as backlit keys, but I didn't feel that was necessary. So it doesn't have that, but um, it does, like I said, it can handle dual monitors and everything just fine. I, I don't think it is a, a very good gaming laptop. I would not get it for gaming. It is very good for the essentials, some video editing. Like I said, it has a little bit of power in it. And uh, the essentials, like I said. So, going back to the power, just for a second, the battery is absolutely incredible on this device. We are, uh, it's rated at 8 hours of battery, um, if you're just doing web surfing for, from the minimal brightness, and I thought that was a joke at first, but it really isn't. I've been getting uh, close to 5, 6, 7 hours of battery um, using this thing, so it's been really trustworthy as far as battery life goes. So Samsung wins it on the battery. Let's take a look at some price tags here. Um, if you are looking to p pick up a Samsung, it is a little bit more expensive. It is not as expensive as Apple, uh, so that's good. I picked this one up uh, at Best Buy for $7.29, uh, uh, which really wasn't that big of a deal for me. 
It wasn't, I wasn't feeling like I was getting scammed for the price. The screen is beautiful, the body is beautiful, so it's, it's a really nice computer for the price. If you're looking to get the next step up in the Series 5, you're looking at about $9.99. That one has a 1TB hard drive, dedicated graphics card, so that you can start to look into some gaming with that. And it has backlit keys, some other features that you, you may end up liking. Uh, the screen on that one looks really incredible. The 17 inch will run you um, a little, is definitely over $1,000 at that point. Only if you need a 17 inch computer will, would you even think about going into that. Um, but I, so far, have been very satisfied with the price and the value of this guy. I do believe it is, is a very good value for the price. Um, so I haven't felt cheated at all by the price. Guys, I've, I know I've answered uh, most of the questions that you may have about uh, the Samsung Notebook, but I do realize that sometimes you uh, may wonder certain specific things about it. So feel free to comment, ask questions, whatever you need to do. Uh, I want to answer them. I want to try to get you guys um, to like the Samsung Notebooks. I am very impressed. I am a man of loyalty. I love to um, search for a good product and then promote it. So I do believe that Samsung is is really good up there. So if you guys have any further comments or questions about it, like I said, just let me know and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. I will see you next time on my channel. Please, please, please subscribe. Um, I'm looking to get to a thousand subscribers. Once I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving something away. We're talking uh, maybe an Apple product, maybe an iPod Nano, something like that. So uh, keep following. Until next time, see you later, guys.